Thanks for staying with us. Now, if you're just tuning in, it's our ladies' night out, and we want to help insecure bosses because it's insecure. <laughs> we want to help you out and teach you how to harness, you know, the best results from a productive subordinate, a highly productive subordinate. Do not be threatened. They will make you look good. Now, please let us share with what you have to say. Remember, you can join this conversation. Tweet at us at WayShowAfrica1 with the hashtag WayShow. Or send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 081 And we'll open our phone lines as well. Please, when you're calling in, try to keep it within a minute and try to turn off the volume of your television set or whatever it is that you're watching from so we can hear you clearly. All right, so Uti, you touched on the call. So I say, stop speak. Don't stop using grammar. <laughs> You see, let me tell you something. If you are confident in who you are, yeah. honestly speaking, there's no work you want to do mm -hmm. that I will feel threatened that Uti is trying to take my job yeah. from me. Because a lot of times, what me I see play out is almost like, ah. And because it's so... It's, you know the funny thing about in, um, incompetent people? Mm. Once somebody that has a semblance of competence comes into the picture, it's so quick for people to identify. And mm. silently, you just hear praises. They'll be praising yeah. and this person, hey, so you want to go and take my job. So it is... A deep sense of insecurity. Mm. So how can we even get them to begin to change that mindset? You are already... You know what I, I keep telling some people? Mm. Why the title of boss is already attached to your name. Mm. So why are you not able to see that? Instead, you are seeing your inadequacies and, of course, projecting that on mm. the people that are, are doing the, your job technically yeah. for you. Yeah. So how can we begin to strip that open? Ah. Do, you have, <laughs> do we have a therapist watching who can tell us? <laughs> Um, I mean, it, it's, it's difficult. Like I said, it's, you know, when you, when you haven't even identified the problem, when that person doesn't even know that what they're doing is wrong, when that person doesn't even know that they have a problem, because, you know, it's, it's possible for you to have insecurities but not know. Hmm. You just feel, you know, a sense, a sense of inadequacy around this person or you feel angry when you see people in the spotlight. But if you're not someone who is reflective, you probably won't dig deep to think, why am I like this? And those people hardly ever are. They just think the world is against me. Mm. Ah, this person's going to take my job. Mm. I have to shut this person down. I have to kill it. You know, we don't allow that here. That's what you will always find. So until you have someone who has an aha moment mm. of maybe there's a different way to do this or some people, you know, go and take it, do an MBA. You know, these are things that are uh, focused on there. You, you find that most people... And particularly, sadly, if you haven't had good role models hmm. in your career, if you haven't seen a great boss, hmm. because let's be fair, we learn from what we see. If you haven't seen a great boss, if you're not an intro, uh, introspective person, is mm -hmm. that the word? If you're not someone who's, you know, you know really that reflective thinks deep, and yeah. thinks about everything, if you're not that kind of person, you just have, ah, I had this nightmare boss. It's like when we were in secondary school now. All the seniors used to be crazy. They used to punish you, and you were just waiting for your turn. Like, <laughs> I will show them. <laughs> Me too, when I get there. Yeah. You know, and that's what it is, because you've also had no good role models. And if we bring it back to our leadership as a country. Okay, so now I'm happy you brought it back because <laughs> you are trying to run away from that. <laughs> you know, when President Muhammadu Buhari, I was very young then, mm. when they said he was in 1984, yeah. when he was uh, head mm -hmm. of state. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody kept on saying that it was, um, what's his deputy's name? Or, I can't remember. Is he Diagbo? No, no, I can't um, remember. So don't even ask me my name? history. Okay, I will look for his deputy's yeah. name. Please help us look for it, producer. The deputy, everybody said uh, it was his deputy that kept on, you know, that did all the work and yeah, all of that at that on. point. No, it wasn't. It's, it's an Edo name. Yeah. I can't remember the name. Mm -hmm. You know, so that, that was the deputy that was doing all the job. So when President Mohamed Buhari was coming in 2015, mm -hmm. because of the, yeah, Idi Agbon, okay, I'm correct, it's Idi Agbon, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, because of his, um, because of his, um, pr the previous memory yeah. that we had of him, his precedence, mm -hmm. we now, it was more of the confidence that they had in someone like Anosibado, he's young, he's this, he's fresh, you mm. know, he'll be able to bring great ideas and all of that. So, but when all well, of this... Anosibado is not young. Eh, he's younger than Barish. <laughs> you know, so when all of these things started happening, and of course when he fell ill, mm. the time he went to the UK and all of that, Anosibado uh, took over, and it was like everybody... Mm. Things you know, were happening, there, things you know, were moving. Oh, sugar. Okay, let me take this call first. <laughs> Thank you for calling. Let's hear what you have to say. Dixon, are you there? Okay. 
okay, I think we, maybe the call is, you know, yeah. so it's delayed. So if you, if you understand, so is it that it is us, the citizens, that is poisoning the mind? Who, who, because who poisoned the president's mind? Okay, let me take Dixon again. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? Hi, Dixon. Thank you for calling. Let's hear what you have to say. Yeah, who are you? Good evening. Good evening, Dixon. Thank you for calling. Yeah, uh, thank you. If I approach, I'm talking about ideas. Hello, Dixon. Yeah, is it? Yeah. I said, find this. Yeah, but the uh, temple for Harry. Yes, yes, yes. Sir. Yeah. What a topic is very essential. It depends on the league, you know, because this. We have a national leader, uh, a transactional leader. Oh, Frankly, I, I, is like your, Dixon, sorry, we might have to cut you off. The line is breaking. Maybe try so sorry. Maybe you should try call back. Um, try to call back. You know, he was talking about transactional yeah, leaders, yeah. and yeah, I mean that's yeah. I wish Pastor Sam was here, <laughs> Doctor Sam. You know, he will break it down, break for, it you down because for you. Because you look at his style of leadership. Mm. Never threatened. Yeah. He's just busy. I think he understands. You know, remember you mentioned mm -hmm. something. You must know your style of yeah. leadership. Yeah. His style of leadership is to birth other leaders. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There are some people's style of leadership that it is you remain yeah. my subordinate for life. Mm -hmm. Because if you understand your calling, Uti, that you are meant to bring mm -hmm. up other leaders, your style of leadership would be the yeah. kind that will allow productive subordinates to thrive, yeah. not to stifle them. So, I mean, from, from even from leadership styles, at least in the defined leadership styles, the, the whole idea of leadership is that you're leading people, you're developing people, you're, you know, sharing your vision and driving people to be able to birth that vision with you. So, even if my leadership style is more laid back, where I let you come to me, or my leadership style is more micromanaging, all of those things, there's none of those styles that says, I keep you down. Mm. That keeping you down is not a leadership style, just mm. bad behavior. Bad behavior. It's, bad, it's actually a lack of leadership skills, mm. right? Because there is no way that I am your leader. When you have a leader, a leader is someone you believe in. A leader is someone you trust. Mm. A leader is someone you look up to. You can't look up to someone who's trying to stand on your neck and keep you down. Mm. You can't. So that person is not a leader. Mm. Let's be clear. The person is not a leader. The person just happens to have been put in charge of people and is managing those people very badly. Hmm. That is it. So unfortunately for those people that are being led by people like that, they can either take that as a roadmap and when they get there, they perpetuate the same thing. Or, or they say, you know what, this is different. now telling me to be different and I want to learn how to do it. So just kind of, can you help them? Or you just, it's better you just leave, since you are very productive and they are uncomfortable, yes. can you micromanage an insecure leader? So you should, again, everybody in whatever role you have, perhaps even the board is responsible. I mean, the board of a company is responsible to the, share, to the, to the shareholders. Mm. So everybody has a boss, mm. right? It is for the boss of an incompetent leader to be able to see that because mm. that is also part of your role. Mm. Let me take Dixon again. Okay. I think he's back. Thank you, Dixon. We're trying. Dixon, are you there? Did we lose him again? Mm. Oh, well. Hello? Okay. We're having troubles with the line. Yeah. So, so yeah, because <laughs> I can't micromanage an insecure person. I'm sorry. You, but you remember that's what I was trying to say, that when you find somebody that is not doing well in their role, mm. you have a, a job as a leader. So if I'm managing people, I have someone managing me. Remember 48 Laws of Power? One that of book these, scares me. That book is scary because one of the laws yeah. in this book mm -hmm. It says you can't outshine your ogre. Yes. You know, being productive, is it a show that you're trying to outshine your boss? So it's again what you define as ha. outshine. This is complicated topic. You, you can't. <laughs> can you outshine me? Mm. No. Can you do better work than me? Yes. Do I class that as you outshining me? No. Can I class it as you outshining yes. me? Yes. If you're insecure, you will class it. Exactly. So it is that whole thing of, now, my take on leadership, and people may have a different opinion from me, I tell all my bosses, I exist <laughs> in my role to make you look good. Hmm. First of all. So even as a subordinate, I tell people, I said, look. You must make your boss you comfortable. Are, you exist in your role to be indispensable to your boss if you can. Hmm. Because I tell people, um, there's, there's a very um, interesting video on LinkedIn, 
Okay, you, you know what? You know, hold yeah, on on that video. Him back? No, I think Richard okay. is calling oh, this time around. <laughs> Hi, Richard. Thank you for calling. Let's hear what you have to say. Hello, Richard. Are you there? Uh, is it our phone lines today that's having issues? Oh, dear. Oh, we're sorry. So you were sending a, a video on LinkedIn. So there's a video on LinkedIn, and um, she was talking about the different currencies hmm. that you have um, as an employee, and the fact that the people that will speak for you or, you know, when your future is being decided, you won't be there to defend yourself. Mm -hmm. The people that will speak for you will speak for you based on what they know of you. And it can't just be, one, your line manager. So I have been in situations where the line manager says, this person, never. Mm -hmm. When you see those stifling bosses, never. And everybody around the table is like, what are you talking about? This person is wonderful. This person is excellent. This person. So that happens. Or you're in the room and your boss says, I die here. This person, uh, you people, today we will duke it out because this person is worth it. Mm. So when those kind of conversations are happening, you are hardly ever in the room. Mm. So the work that you do can either cause your boss to go to town for you or for your boss to say, ah, I was just waiting for this day. Go. <laughs> Aside. I think we're having Richard back again. Thank you, Richard, for calling. Let's hear what yeah, you have to say. Yeah, good evening, guys. Hi, Hi Richard. Richard. Thank you for calling. Let's hear what you have to say. Happy birthday to you, Uti, one more time. Thank Yay. you so much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, what we're talking about. Now, if you're a boss and you have um, a very productive subordinate, mm. for me, I think it is a good point for you. Mm. I prefer to have all my subordinates too good on the job. It's not better than myself. Makes life easy. At the end of the day, when we sit up and tell me, I don't want to sit there. They're not the ones to sit there. Mm. So if you have a problem in supporting me, that they will sharing you and take over your job, that means you yourself have a problem. Now, it doesn't mean that as a boss, you should not know what you are doing. For mm. me, as a manager, that have supporting me, what I do is that I make sure I update myself from time to time mm. so that if anything happens, Yes, I've allowed you to do this job, but at every time, I also have something to say about that job. I make sure I know something about that job that you're doing. Mm. So that if something happens tomorrow, maybe you need it. I don't, I don't get exposed. Mm -hmm. You know, so you have, you have happened so many times that if it wasn't a police and the people do not get exposed, that, oh, you don't even know this thing, what it is doing. So I think if you know what you are doing, your subordinates will not be a problem to you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Richard. Thank, Thank you. Uh, his cake. <laughs> Who said no worries. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and he just said it because yeah. if you are not developing yourself mm -hmm. as a leader, I mean, see, if you do not know, I have the most amazing, brilliant minds on ways. They, I mean, my brain is here. Their own is there. But, you know, instead of looking You're at it like... You're not threatened by no, it. No, I exactly. can never be with you. Exactly. You know, you know why? My mantra in life is that I must keep on learning till I die. Exactly. So God brought you guys here for me to also learn. You That's know, it. I learn different things. Quietly, I observe every member on the team. And I'm picking something from every single person. And Why would I now thing. wake up and say, you know what? Ah, no, 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 no. No. Haven't you met bosses who don't think that you can teach them anything? I always say that, look, no matter what, no matter how old, you can learn something from every, every person. I said, it wasn't until I had my son that I realized that a newborn baby was teaching me things. Hmm. You know, and he, he taught me so much. And I realized, actually, you can, if you're open to learning, you can learn from everybody. And let me tell you something, and this is what a lot of people miss. As a leader, once you have confidence and your people believe in you, you know you can put your hand up and say, you report to me, this thing you're doing, I don't know it, come and teach me. Yes. And you know what, this person will be so in awe that you could actually admit to not knowing, knowing something it. and will be so happy to work with you. Yes. But, you know, we, we feel here like, and this is again, like I said, not understanding. Let's even bring it back to our leadership, to our mm. government. Mm. A president cannot be, cannot be a technocrat in everything, can't mm -hmm. know everything. That's why he has a finance minister. That's why he has... You have specialists. You have subject matter experts. What you are there as a boss is, Coordinate. as a leader, bring everything to so the table the and take this a is decision. decision. This is exactly. where I'm going. So you, how can we get here? Simple. This person, how can we... You must have that. You have those experts. And that's what every leader is supposed to do. So you build with you a team. You know, I love, I love my current boss. She's like, ah, I'm so happy you resumed. 
Now I can't sleep. That like, is the there are meals I don't have to send anymore. That's and it. that's what every leader should realize that, you know, when you have people that know, first of all, that my boss is confident in me, the person will move mountains for you. Mm. I keep saying it. There's some bad eggs, and, and those people don't waste your time. Get them out because they, they poison is your it system. The, is it the system, the, the board, the management that should get them out? Or you, as the subordinate, you could go if they are not going. Because no, there's some, the, there some leaders that they, mm. they have used, uh, <laughs> what's it called? <laughs> raw, um, cement and yeah. whatever to cast themselves very well. There. But you know the they're not moving. Well, you know, so again, it's also organizing mm. orga organization now. Yes, Excuse yes, me. the value, the yes. organizational value. What cultures does the organization the, have? You. Because it's very important when you're going to go into any organization, please find out, mm. please investigate. If it is a if it's an organization that breeds toxicity, mm. help yourself. And just not go there. And don't go there. Mm. You know, so it does come from the top. If, and remember, that's why I said, like, if you're a bad manager, your, the, your manager's manager should pick it up. Hmm. Your, if your manager's manager is a good manager, there is open door policy. Walk in, have a conversation. Hmm. But you find that in some organizations, it's very closed off. In some organizations, you know, I tell people, look, I don't have a problem with you going to speak to my boss. All I say is I don't like to be blindsided. So if you had a conversation, just let me know. Oh, I had a conversation. I don't even want to know what you talked about. If you feel comf comfortable enough to tell me, that's fine. Yeah. But just let me know that, oh, I had a conversation. So when I get called in and say, oh, this person came to me, I say, oh, yeah, I I'm aware. I don't know what you discussed, but I'm aware the person came to me. So in that sense, people don't feel like, oh, I can't go above you. Hmm. I have an open door policy. Come to me anytime. Call me anytime. I told someone the other day, I said, yeah, uh, you called me boss, but really I'm here to serve you. And she was laughing. So the reality of it is, you're welcome to come to me at any time. I'm here to look after you. Hmm. If you feel there's something you can't discuss with me, by all means, feel go free to, my, to go my, above so, my head. My, 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 you know? my, my but a lot of people yeah. will be able to do that. Let's take, quickly take in some comments from our audience before we run off because we run out of time. So leadership requires the ability to accept you might not know it all, but you are willing to work with your team members that know better than you. That means having a focus on driving a goal. Mm. That's from Debo. Mm -hmm. My thought is a lot of people have insecurities and that translates to threat mm. of their position when a competent person comes on board. Um, leaders should be, should be people willing to bring out the best in others. Thank you, Wurola, for that comment. That's great. Yeah. So Yours I have two Bell comments Benson, here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Two <laughs> comments from Benson. So the first one says, Christ told his disciples that you'll do much greater things than me. Sadly, most leaders feel secure by caging their subordinates. Mm. Uh, and the second one says, culture has played a huge role in what we perceive as leaders. In the civil service, the culture is so set. As soon as you're employed, you're initiated into the system that eventually warps whatever bright ideas you came, came with. with. Absolutely. So, and that's why we're And that's why we're where we are. <laughs> I mean, so, you you know, when, when the topic first came up, I was mm. wondering, okay, but when I started thinking deep into this topic, mm. Uti, we can't move forward in yeah. Nigeria if we do not solve this problem. Yeah, yeah. Because it will mean that for every time, this person wants to say, no, 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 no. And that's why you see a governor will come into power, refuse to complete the unfinished work of the previous government because mm. he doesn't want to be seen you know, that it is, I mean, because people will continue to refer to that project as the, mm. you know, so there are so many things. You need to be comfortable for people to, to praise other people than yeah, you as a leader. Absolutely. You know, even if it is, oh, we all got the job done. And that's why you see police will say, no, it is us that did it. I mean, we say, no, it is us that did it. I mean, this thing, it plays out the, in and you know, every the, sector. the glory is big enough for everybody to shine because, you know, even as a leader in an organization, when your subordinates are happy, other leaders are looking at you like, ah, why are these guys, what is this person doing? Everybody's so excited. Other people in other units are coming to you saying, how can I come to this group? How can I come and join these guys? Mm. You know, so there's so many ways to build a profile and for yourself, a brand for yourself that speaks volumes about you, mm. where other people are singing your praises. And in most times, in places where you will not be, conversations will be had around you that you will never hear. Mm. But this will be things that will take you so, so far, you know, where your name is being spoken in great light. So it, for me, I, I know we're running out of time. Yeah. It's just an encouragement to all leaders out there that please, 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 and please, being threatened, feeling threatened serves no purpose. Mm. If you find yourself in a situation where you lack knowledge, you must be able to, ass to assert yourself as a leader. That's one thing. If your subordinates don't respect you, they won't be able to work 
for you. Mm. So you must be able to assert yourself as a leader, not even necessarily from an aspect of technical expertise of mm. the role, but from leadership expertise. Mm. No matter what, if you come to me and you give me information and you can process it and take a decision and say, you know what, based on what you've told me, I think you should try A, B, C. If it doesn't work, do D, E, F. That person leaves you feeling confident. But when I come to you with a problem and you have no um, um, or you can't process what the person has brought to you, then it creates doubt in the mind of that person. Mm. And then you yourself are threatened as a leader because you keep being confronted by things that you cannot deal with. Mm. So absolutely spot on with what Richard said. You must develop yourself. Mm. And when you find that you have stars in your team, please encourage them. Grow them. Teach them what good leadership is. And don't be threatened you know, by them. Get them to teach you <laughs> what they know. They will be so... Mm. thrilled by it mm. they will want to do more for you you know when you tell somebody come and teach me the guy will be like hey, I yeah, teach my God. madam something yeah. teach my God something yeah. and you know and they're so excited by it and that's how you get people excited about the work excited about what you're doing about you as an individual mm. you know you get to a point where I've known people my boss changes jobs and I follow mm. my boss changes jobs and I follow and that's what that's how you keep growing your career. Hmm. Because you've become so used to this person. This person is so used to you. Like, when I'm going to get a job, look, me and this person, we're a package deal. <laughs> take me, I'll take, take him. Person. If you don't take him, we're good. Because this person will cause me to hit the ground running here for Immediately. you. Immediately. Absolutely. Yeah. I think that's a fantastic way to wrap it up. Please, leaders, I mean, you heard Uti. Take, take advantage of the stars in your team and do not try to you know, suppress you know, their greatness. They will actually make your job look good. All right, thank you, Uti. We had fun. We had an awesome time. <laughs> hey, so Ways was birthed from the need to inform, inspire, and influence lives towards action. And this year, we started our CSR focused on curbing unemployment in Nigeria. So if you are a company, please partner with us by allocating internship slots. And if you're a job seeker, keep watching Ways. Follow us on all our social media handles, as this will be an all-year-round engagement. So tell your friends to keep all eyes on Ways. In case you missed today's quote, here it is again. Mm. Productivity is never an accident. It is always a result of commitment to excellence, intelligent planning, and focused effort. So when you have a productive person in your team, try to tap into that, uh, you know, <laughs> yeah, that potential. Yeah. We'll see you live tomorrow at 8 p.m. as we bring another great conversation to your screen. Enjoy.